Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Uptime Kuma on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is actually Uptime Kuma? So Uptime Kuma is in simple words a monitoring system for your network, okay? So if you go to the official web page so this is the official web page of Uptime Kuma. It's uptime.kuma.bet, okay? So you can see here a live demo of it, or you can actually go to the docs. So as you can see here, the simple description of it is a self-hosted monitoring tool, okay? So actually, in order to run it, you need Docker, because it's only available on Docker, okay? So if you go to the docs page, we'll be redirected to this GitHub page where you can see the history of it, how it started, okay? You get actually a bunch of info also about how to install it and how to run it and troubleshoot it also. So as I told you, it runs on Docker, okay? So first thing first, we have to create actually our machine in order to run it inside it. So me, I'll be using here on Proxmox this uh, LXC container. So I already created an LXC container, but the process, as you have seen, is pretty easy. It's just a simple or couple of next, next, next in order to create actually your uptime coma running machine. So you can run it on a virtual machine on or on LXC container. So here, this is my LXC container so for the resources. I just choose for the memory 512 megabytes, okay? And also I use just one core, it's far enough for that. And as you can see here, I'm running actually uh, Debian 10. So as you can see here, it's Debian 10 Buster. So the first thing that we're gonna do is, as I told you, is to install Docker, okay? So the first thing that you have to do actually is to update your packages. So up update. So it's always a good uh, start for that. Then you have to install the prerequisite packages by running this command here. And of course you will find on the commands on the description, okay? So let's install these packages. So actually I don't need the sudo because I am already a root. Here we go. And I will answer here yes. And packages hopefully will get installed. Okay. So now that the packages has been installed, we need to add the official PGP key. So we'll do that using this command. Okay, so let's run it. Here we go. After that, we add the Docker repositories. Oh, this is another command that we must execute also. So now let me run another apt update. And let's see now if we can install actually Docker. So here we go, let's install this Docker. So our answer yes. And hopefully now Docker will be installed community edition, okay? Here we go, let's verify now that the service is running. 
So as you can see, it's active and running. So now hopefully if we execute Docker, we'll get the bunch of commands, which means that Docker is installed. So now let's install actually uptime coma, as you can see, or as I have told you, it's run on Docker, okay? So if we return back to the documentation, so running Docker or installing Docker is as easy as running this long Docker commands. So as you can see here, the port that we'll be using is 3001. And we'll be actually using the image Louis Lam uptime coma okay so you have just to copy this command and paste it into your terminal here we go let's run it so now it's pulling the image from docker hub and it will be actually downloaded into your local virtual machine or LXC container here in this case and after that, hopefully, we'll be actually getting uptime coma running as a server that we can actually use. So the process has been finished. So let's execute the command docker ps in order to see if our container is running and indeed it's running and up. Okay. So now all I need is my IP address. So this is the IP address of this virtual machine. So as you can see here, the IP address is uh, that one, that 108. So we'll be using this IP address from another actually machine or your local machine. But you have just to add the port 3001. So let's do that. So I'll open new page. I will execute actually or enter actually the IP address of my machine with the port 3001. And hopefully, as you can see here, we have uptime Kuma that is running. Okay. So here it needs this actually username so let's just enter for example admin so you can enter whatever username you want and also i will choose a password okay here we go here we go and let's create that and hopefully here this is my uptime coma that is running okay so the first thing that we're gonna do actually is to change the team to a dark team because I don't like this white team. So I'll click here on my account. I will go to the settings and I will go to the appearance. So I will change it to the dark mode. Here we go. So now I can return back to my dashboard. So this is where you can see all your actually monitoring systems. So you can add a lot of monitoring and you can get also notification, for example, on your WhatsApp or Slack or even Discord, you can get notification for that. But you have to set up what we call webhooks in order to do that. But here I will just show you a simple example how to monitor, for example, your router or your servers. So all you have to do is to add this hit, click on this button here, add new monitor. And you get actually this window or this page so you can change the monitor type you can monitor http https you can use pink so let's use the most common one which is which is the pink so let's pink our for example microtech router to see if it's running so the host name here i will give actually the ip address of it which is in my case that one that 53 you can here change also the heartbeat interval so by default it's one minute but you can change that you can also choose the retries but for me i guess that's enough and here you can add what we call tags so it's always good to add a tag so i will just add a tag as internet you can choose also the color so i'll choose for example orange 
I will add and I will save that and here we go now you can see here that I have my microtech which is running because it's responding to the pings okay and if it fails you will get actually a notification here as red you can see a red bar which means that this microtech router doesn't actually respond to pings anymore so you can check what's going on and there is also here a history time where you can see whatever happens so you can here add as many servers as you want as many iot devices if you want so and as i told you everything here is set up you can add another monitor and you can choose the type you can even choose to monitor a uh, website or a keyword in the website with this option here http keywords so you can give it the full name of your http website that you want to monitor and also a special keyword on that page and you can also monitor that so it's pretty handy pretty useful if you have a home network or even enterprise network that you want to monitor okay and one thing that I wanted also to show you is the notifications so if you go to the settings a notification here so you can set up notification but that needs another video for that but I want just to show you that you can set up notifications and you have a wide variety of notification types so you can get notification on telegram or uh, as I told you on discord as you can see here on discord on slack so you can configure that but you have to make some actually tweaks or settings in the application related so you, if you want to get notification for example on discord you have to create a webhook on discord but here i want just to show you that it's very very customizable you can do whatever you want with it and you get notification in real time that's the beauty of this utility okay so let's return back to our dashboard okay and here you have uh, actually a uh, global view of what's going on what are the servers that up that are down or in the maintenance and of course if you enter in a special uh, monitor you get notification here so as you see here on this test page so that was just a brief video to show you how to install actually uh, uptime kuma and proxmox so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future contents and of course if you have any suggestion for future video drop them in the comments below as always i hope it has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing bye bye